Always interesting and always original. Former Overstock CEO Patrick Byrne is still burning up about the media backlash to his ouster. Charlie Gasparino, I don't know if you guys saw this Twitter battle between Charlie and Patrick over the weekend, but I'm in L.A. I start looking. I start. The, oh, no, not now. What happened, Charlie? Well, you know, let's, let's unpack all this. It happened on your show. It, it all relates to your show. You start so much trouble, you know. Finally, they, you realize with, with, that. When you're here or not here. So last week on Tuesday, I reported that, you know, Patrick sold his, all his shares of Overstock. And the timing looks suspicious. Mm -hmm. There it is. Uh, at the time it looks suspicious because after, he, right after he sold, the company uh, gave negative guidance on uh, on its retail business. Uh, the CFO resigns, so it looked bad that you sold your insider, you sold, sell your shares before all that happened. So what did he say? Um, okay, so it took a couple of days. If you notice, he did, no one returned my calls. Patrick didn't return my calls. So le yesterday he, he's he returns. He says he does a tweet and he starts sending me uh, emails and text messages. To describe why he sold, and I tweeted, and I retweeted, uh, he tweeted that out. I tweeted out that we put a lot of calls into. But now I've gone through all his material. Uh, Patrick, we should point, put right, and then you said, "I hey, look, I asked them right. hours before I went on the but, air. But now, I asked you, Patrick, but, but and I got nothing." Now I got to the bottom of why Patrick Byrne says he sold all his shares. He says it has nothing to do with insider trading. That's one of the. Th this is gets to the heart of it. It's a little confusing. Uh, but he said it had nothing. He didn't know about the, the negative guidance that was going to come out. He thought it was still a positive guidance. But he said he learned. This is why he sold all his shares. I learned something interesting, something that had nothing to do with the operation of the firm, right. and that caused me to sell all my shares. So now the stock is down five and a yeah. quarter at this very moment. At this, so here's what we we could say. Um, he's he's in Indonesia. Indo Indonesia, he doesn't have, there's not a lot of contact. You can get some emails to him, text messages. Uh, he is providing more detail on why he sold all his shares. He's, he's basically saying, just so you know, that he's totally out of the company, totally out of the country. He sold his house in Utah. I mean, he's living in Indonesia, overseas right now. He's, and he, doesn't, he also told me he never wants to step foot in the state of Utah again. Uh, and then he sold his over. I, I mean, he feels that they betrayed him in some way. Just this is the what, state of Utah. The, well, no, the company which is located okay. in Utah. <laughs> I so was going to say he but. feels that they betrayed him in some way. What he's saying is that he learned something that you know that was going down. It, there he How is. How about with that his, he was dating Marina Boutique? It had nothing to do with that. It was something to do with DNO, directors and officers insurance, and a letter that was that was compiled for the board about that DNO insurance. Now remember. One of the reasons why he resigned, he said, is because he thought the firm may not be able to get or may have to pay up for DO insurance after the thing with Maria Butina broke, right? The red-headed yeah, the, 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 the Russian spy. So something in that letter, let's be clear here, really got Byrne, in his view, annoyed. He said he didn't know about the guidance that was going to go down, so he sold because of what was in that letter. I don't know what was in that letter. The company won't tell me what was in that letter. The company Patrick, has no send comment. Us the letter. This is the, this is one of the strangest stories I've ever covered in my life. Charlie, Just so you know, <laughs> there's more to come. I'm sure. We'll take the letter, Patrick. Charlie Gasparino.